Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. What's up my dudes, welcome back to another video and also the three gals who watch this channel. Um, we are back here today with the F-16 and the Rafal dogfight. The F-16, a Pakistani variant, and we're going to be fighting the Indian Rafal, which I believe is designated EH. It's the Rafal EH in the one circle turn here with him now. Um, the EH is the single seater variant, I believe the DH is the two seater variant for the Indian Air Force. And this thing is uh, could actually be somewhat of a challenge for the F-16, if not flown correctly. Um, I, I see it being difficult, uh, unless I can drag it down to the ground, in which case I think I can kill it every time. But as long as that thing has altitude, it could be dangerous. As you can see right here. That's going to be a problem, especially since I'm slow here. Yeah, look at him. Oh, that's not good. That's not what I like to see. He's shooting high right now. No, never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're still good. We're still good. There's a massive fire and a big chunk of me fell down to the earth, but I'm still good. The aircraft is still flying and I need to get this guy to overshoot here. I have learned from my mistake in the last round. And I think I can take him. Like I said, again, the objective is to stay alive long enough so that I can pull that thing down to the deck and uh, kill it there. It's going to have to be a rate fight the entire time. Into the merge here. He's once again forcing one circle. Even the most difficult opponents can be killed by the F-16 if you can survive long enough to drag him to the ground and if you can keep your speed up. You see right now I'm just shy of 400 knots, now we're going up to 408. And what that does is it allows you to react to your opponent. The F-16's performance is generally better at faster speeds, of course, so you have that advantage, but the ability to climb over the nose of your opponent, especially if it's uh, an aircraft that favors the one circle, and if he's trying to do counter two circle tactics on you, you're gonna need that extra speed to climb over his nose um, if he tries that kind of stuff. And you gotta try to not get slow. Once again, I'm around. I was about 400, we're now climbing up here 350. And now I'm too slow, you see me at 240-ish. And as soon as I start getting slow like this, the fight starts to favor the Rafael. We gotta be super careful here. Just stay out of that thing's nose. And remember, I'm not even trying to kill him right now. I just want to survive long enough to drag him to the ground. You see, as soon as I start getting slow, he starts to have a massive advantage. He may have overruttered a little there. Oh. That thing has a pretty decent nose authority. Try to get some of our speed back. And we are on to the raid fight on the deck. He's pretty slow because he tried to take that shot at me. He pulled pretty hard, which made him pretty slow. <laughs> Looks like he's almost about to hit the ground there. As he tries to recover from that, it's going to take him time. And as it takes him time, the Viper's already whipping around the circle, coming around to kill him. And hopefully if I can just not screw this up. And as the Rafael starts to pick up speed, it could become a problem. So, I, need, I mean, the F-16 should still 
outrate that thing down here, but it is going to become a problem, especially if he starts tightening down. I think he's pulling too hard on the stick every time. Pull him into the HUD quickly. And splash one fell. Do we get him? Is he going down or what? What's going on here? Yep, splash one fell. He's going down. fairly difficult fight here between the F-16 and the Rafale. I do feel myself uh, pretty defensive through the entire fight until I get down to the deck and there the F-16 just does what the F-16 does best and it becomes really easy to kill him down there but as long as he has altitude he's very difficult to kill. Gonna have to pull some shenanigans here if we want to get a consistent victories against this thing using the vertical wherever possible add a 3d dimension to the fight a little bit we've discussed in the past how people mess up the geometry when that happens look at this that thing very comfortable in the one circle almost seemed like it was drifting there in the sky for a second can I possibly point my nose at him here almost Almost. What about here? Right here, right here. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, I hit him. <laughs> Is he dead? Black smoke ejection right there. Wow. That was a lucky snapshot opportunity. Wow. I can't believe it. I think I just beat him in a one circle. <laughs> That's why you add the vertical. Splash one Rafael. Lucky shot, but I'll take it. I enjoy fighting the Rafale because it just feels kind of like, you know, a stronger Mirage almost. Uh, a little bit better in the two circle than a Mirage, it feels like. And obviously it's got improved avionics, but that doesn't really matter in the dogfight really. Into the merge here once again, one circle from him. can't really blame him there. There's very few guys who want to go two circle with a Viper. Um, I'm a little slow already. That's bad news for me. But luckily I'm uh, on my way down. Regain some of that speed. He's got his nose pretty dumped which tells me that he might be slow as well. And then that's it, just stiff arm him into the two circle and just hold him there all the way down. I am slow once again, I'm trying to keep this this turn a little bit tighter. I shouldn't have done that though, I should have kept my speed. I regret doing that. As soon as I start getting slow, that thing starts to win. Even at 400, he might be winning, but you have options. You can get out of the way, you can jink. You know, at 200 knots, 250 knots, there's not a whole lot you can do. And you can see we got him in a good position here. We're slowly building our speed right down to the deck. We're not going to get greedy. Look at that speed slowly building. And he's racking his head here for a solution, I bet you. 
trying to figure out how does he get out of this overlapping two circle with a viper <laughs> that he's stuck with. Look at this. He's definitely stuck here. He's got his nose up, which tells me he's looking back. And that's going to make him slow. And we're going to kill him. For that mistake, he will pay with his life. Splash one or fell. That's a common thing you see. People are looking back. They don't realize their nose is starting to slice up and it's starting to get slower.